what's up guys welcome to new unreal engine 5 tutorial and today i'm gonna show you on how to make a night sky and also a moon so it's gonna be a very easy tutorial to follow so let's get started so the first thing that we are gonna do is go into your level into a new level or your existing level and uh, make sure that you have gonna have a copy because we're gonna override lighting things in here so let's get started so the first thing that we are gonna do is just go ahead and shift select everything inside the lighting uh, folder and just boom, delete everything of course our lighting will go so what we have to do is just go into the content browser right click sorry go into settings and then what we have to do is say uh, show engine content okay we need to make uh, sure that that's enabled so now if we go into the kind of the overall explorer you can see there's a new folder called engine so we just enable this well, so like this and then go here say sphere sky and you will see this one bp sky sphere so literally just drag it into the scene and you will see that we have kind of a, uh, you know a scene of a light now if you see in here we have a lot of new options the first one is the sun height in our case i'm gonna lowest because of course it's gonna be nighttime and you can see you can go ahead and check that we freaking have uh stars in it and it's like a nice guy okay we can change the stars brightness in here right now it says in point one we can you know, increase this or whatever i'm just gonna leave it in two in point two five because i think that's pretty cool uh we have the sun brightness etc uh so uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and move this inside of the lighting folder to have everything organized so the next thing that we're gonna do is actually have a lighting uh that directional light in our scene because i mean we have the sky but not the lighting like if i were to place here is a sphere or whatever you wouldn't see it so i'm just gonna go here into add i'm gonna go into lights and go into directional light just click on that and now i'm gonna go and set this into movable so once we have our directional light on the scene we can just go ahead and uh, rotate it and then face it a bit down and you can see we can also uh, control l and then have this menu where we can check so let's go ahead and position it around where you would like to have your moon uh, here and of course it is very bright so i'm gonna go into the intensity i'm gonna change this so let's see i mean one is pretty cool i think 0.5 but i think 0.5 maybe is better you can go ahead and play around uh with all these things so let's go ahead and add a few more things let's go ahead and add a light a skylight uh, so we can have a bit of a more detail in our lighting uh, and also i'm gonna go ahead and add a let me see if I find it um, height exponential height fog and you know basically allow us to have our like a fog density um now let's go ahead and lower this so of course you can see that it's a bit broken right this is also mainly because of the color so you can go ahead and change this and change the color of this so let's go ahead and kind of go here and pick a color that more suits our uh, lighting now it's very bright so let's go ahead and in the expression height fog in here in fog density gonna point zero zero sorry point zero zero one and fall off it's gonna be pretty high opacity all right starting distance fog distance you can go ahead and play around with that now another thing that we need to go ahead and do is add the moon so in order to do this, I'm gonna go ahead, add a shape and a sphere. Okay, it's gonna be in here and we have a sphere. Now we need a moon texture. So let's quickly find one. I'm gonna basically use this one from the NASA. So, so remember to go back into your content uh, folder, not in the engine, so in the content. And I have created a new folder called moon. I have imported my texture. 
So let's go ahead and create now the material. So right click, uh, go into material, just name it uh, moon, mat, however you want to call it, and go ahead and open it. All right, and here, what I'm going to do is just say control space, and basically it will open up the uh, content browser, but in version mini, as you know, turn to moon, and then just drag in my texture. Now, normally the RGB would go into the base color, but in my case, it's going to go into emissive color because we want uh, to basically have the moon kind of have a bit of a, you know, a bit of a, uh, go ahead and have some glow into it. So just go ahead and apply this texture or material, go back and then just literally drag this into the sphere. And there we go. We have our moon. So go ahead and move it around bigger or smaller yep. as you can see that we have our moon now it might be glowing a lot so you can go ahead and you know control that but it's looking very very cool so yeah that's pretty much it guys i mean you have yourself a sky you have your, uh, a moon stars etc so if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe uh comment and uh, you or the video with other Unreal Engine 5 trials you want to see, and uh, bye bye.